Welcome back everyone. It is graduation season and that means a lot of pictures, graduation caps, gowns, and of course diplomas. And when the excitement is all over, you know, all that's left are some pictures and memories. And we want to make sure though that you make the most of that. Gina Greenleaf from the Craft Outlet. She is here with some really cool ways to keep these memories alive via scrapbooking. All right, so first off, Gina, I got to say, okay, first off, uh, I am a fan of scrapbooking, but I know there are a lot of people out there who are really into like Instagram. So what are the benefits, obviously, of scrapbooking versus just like keeping your pictures online? Sure. Scrapbooking came out of the passion for genealogy. And so people started realizing that a whole generation right now has all their pictures electronically. Yeah. And when that technology changes, those pictures are all gone. There is a danger of an entire generation lost of I'm, photographs. I'm scared of that. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. I have pictures on a zip drive. I it, ever I, heard of that? I, no, no yes, nobody I know else I does either. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you save your memories, write names on the backs of them. Make sure that when you are documenting your pictures, that you're truly documenting it. So people aren't just looking at that going, who's this, who's this, who's yeah. this? Now, scrapbooking. I like people to like feel something too. Sure. Yeah, so let's talk about for people who are maybe beginners, you know, how they can really jump into well, this. Well, it could be as simple oh, as wow. this. Oh, wow, look at this. I there's, love this. There's my book from the late, or, yeah, late 70s. Uh, here, when you're talking graduation, oh, Disney World. here are go. the kinds of things that you can do with graduation. You've got layouts, you've got photographs, you've got words and embellishments. So the people who maybe aren't quite into that, okay, just get them in an album. Get the names on them. Make sure they're recorded. If you are truly a digital princess, like I am, I make books when I travel. Oh, so cool. these, these books were made online, so I don't have this kind of album, but I have several of these and they line up really cute on my You know, one of the benefits too is you want to you look at like pictures of your ancestors. Now obviously right now, we're, you know, they didn't have like, you know, Instagram, sure. so we're looking at that, but like in the future, it's like they won't have access to like our Facebook or something, so this right. is where this comes in handy. This book is 40 years old, you guys. I haven't looked at this book in probably 20 years, so when I pulled it out this morning, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's my dad's article. That's there's so, all, yeah, that's I'm so looking nice. at all these pictures thinking about how I can scan them and put them on Facebook and embarrass all my friends. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> that's <laughs> yes. the whole point of it, really. So to get started, the bare minimum that you really need is you need some paper of some sort, and there are tons of decorative, sorry, decorative yeah. papers of all different kinds of themes. So if you start with a decorative paper, kind of your design is already started for you. Um, I didn't say that I work at the Craft Outlet and we have a tremendous assortment of merchandise at the Craft Outlet. And so we're open Wednesday through Friday from nine to five and Tuesday from Saturday, I'm sorry, Saturday from That's nine to okay. two. Wednesday through Friday, nine to five, Saturday, nine to two. And we're at 1450 Buchanan, so in the old Heckman Furniture Building. Our inventory changes every day. We are a true outlet, so you never know what you're gonna find, but you're guaranteed to find something wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, I absolutely love this. Sheena, thank you so much for joining us today. And you know, we do have some more links to help you get started with your scrapbooking journey. They are up on our website, 13onyourside. Dot com. Thank you again for well, thank joining you. us here in studio. I absolutely love it. We will have another half hour of news when we come back.